can't wait till we get our Netflix show offer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Take and Make video. This week we'll be showing you how to make a paracord bracelet. So in your kit, you're going to have two lengths of paracord. You should have two different colors to work with. And you're also going to have a plastic buckle that's got two pieces to it. The only other thing you're going to need for this is a pair of scissors. So if you haven't seen one of these paracord bracelets before, they get their, um, I, they really originate from the parachute cord that they used to use, or they do use on parachutes. They started using them in World War II and soldiers would salvage this nylon cord from the parachutes and they would be able to use it for all sorts of things. So it's gotten kind of a revival into a survival type bracelet and you will make this bracelet and if you ever needed, I think 20, you'll have almost 20 feet of paracord. It's really strong. You could tie stuff up. You can use it to pull stuff if you're in the woods. Um, that's where kind of the survival bracelet comes from. And then really cool fact about paracord. Okay, if you've heard of the Hubble Space Telescope, they put that up, NASA put that up in 1990, and there was a whole bunch of problems with that. And uh, on one of the spacewalks to go and repair this, the space telescope, the Hubble sp um, Telescope, they went up there and they found all this insulative uh, uh, thermal material all torn up. And they didn't expect that. So what Mission Control had to do was figure out what was in um, the space shuttle at the time that they could go and repair this thermal blanket that was around the Hubble Space Telescope. And they had a, th a thermal blanket and they had 35 feet of paracord. And with the paracord, they actually wove in this thermal blanket onto the side of the Hubble Space uh, Telescope. And as far as I know, it's still there today. So even paracord helped astronauts. So you're going to be able to make this bracelet and you'll have something that could save a, te a telescope if you ever needed one. <laughs> so we can use this paracord bracelet today in case one of us ever gets to go to space. Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right, so let's grab our two pieces of paracord and our buckle and let's get started making our bracelet. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is take your two different pieces of paracord, line them up next to each other, and you can trim the tops if you need to. You wanna get them nice and even. And you're just gonna take your two strings and tie them together with a simple overhand knot. You can also burn the ends of this paracord and try and melt them together for a stronger hold. A parent should definitely help you with that, but you don't have to do that. We're just gonna do a simple knot today. So now your paracord is tied tight together. Pull it nice and tight. All right, so next you're gonna take your buckle apart and using this end of your buckle, thread your paracord pieces through the opening on the buckle and pull it almost all the way down. We want to leave a small loop like this up at the top. And then next, you're just going to reach through that loop, grab those loose pieces and pull them straight through. and then you can tighten the whole thing up. And now you should have two pieces of paracord tied really firmly to your buckle. At this point, you can trim these little pieces if you want. Next, we're gonna take the second piece of our buckle and we're gonna thread the loose ends of our paracord through that opening again. So 
So for this part, you wanna make sure that the two pieces of your buckle are curved the same way. If you look at the buckle closely, you can notice that it curves a little bit. And this is the inside curve of this piece. And then over here, I can see the inside curve of this piece. So we want them to be facing the same way. So next, you're gonna test the length that you need by wrapping the paracord around your wrist. It might help to have an extra set of hands during this part. What you're gonna do is figure out a rough estimate of how big you need your bracelet to be, but leave yourself a generous amount of extra paracord because it's gonna tighten up and get smaller as you weave it. So this looks pretty good for my wrist. And then you're just gonna take it off and try and keep that buckle in the spot that you just picked. All right, so next you can take the paracord bracelet, keep that buckle in place, kind of flip it over so your pointy part of your buckle is facing up and your extra pieces of paracord are right underneath like that. Now this next step will determine what color is going to be in the center of your bracelet and in what color is going to be on the outside. So in this case, I want the blue to be the center of my bracelet. So I'm going to start with my blue paracord. So take your first color and you're going to form a little loop with it like this. Next, I'm gonna take that second color. For me, it's red, the one that's underneath, and I'm gonna bring it up and over this blue right here. And now this red piece is gonna go underneath my whole bracelet and up through the first loop that we made. And then I'm gonna take the two pieces on the side and just pull them tight and that's our first stitch. And now we're just gonna keep repeating that pattern and we'll always start with the same color first. So I'll make a loop with my first color, make a loop with blue. The red or the second color will come over that line and then under the whole bracelet and up through the loop to come out the other side. And each time we're gonna pull it tight. So as you're going, every couple stitches that you make, you can take your bracelet, hold the loose paracord, and push those stitches up towards the pointy buckle. And what that's gonna do is help tighten it and keep everything nice and even as you're going. So every couple stitches, you can go ahead and push that back up. So when you get to the end of your bracelet, you don't have to tie another knot or anything. Just go ahead and cut off the excess pieces. And once again, if you want to, you can use a lighter to burn these edges, but make sure a parent helps you with that. I think we're ready to go to space now.